here in the north, spring arrives quite late and quickly melts into the summer. Everything blooms and grows rapidly, creating a lush and beautiful landscape. As I'm trying to take in every second of it, it's also the best time for foraging. And there's a lot to gather. Islets for different plants that are full of vitamins, medical benefits, but also taste delicious and add color to dishes. My mornings start early, like very early. I feel I'm much more productive in the mornings and also I love to have all this peace to myself. During the summer we experience the white night phenomenon where the sun rises very early and sets late giving us long days full of daylight. Dog walks are perfect for location scouting and foraging. Most of my spots are found just like that. Living with the rhythm of nature and foraging is a way of life. My goal for this year is to create home herbal apothecary. So I'm taking the most of the season and trying to preserve different plants so I could create my own herbal recipes, tea blends, body care items and more. I'm very excited about the upcoming season and I thought it would be fun to release every now and then an episode concentrating on one plant, its benefits and easy recipes that we all can recreate. In this episode I will be concentrating on my seasonal favorites. First, spruce tips. I have always eaten them, but never actually used them in my kitchen, so I decided to make some spruce tip pesto. And I wish I prepared more. So delicious. Okay, that combination smells amazing. This vitamin-packed treat is the perfect sauce for pasta dishes, but also you can use it just with the toast. These smell so good. It's time to get started with those. I started experimenting with dandelions last year. This year I'm going the extra mile. As I'm discovering the world of homemade body care products, I'm also making some dandelion oil to use in my future salves and body butters. For that I need to dry dandelion petals and soak them in the oil, which will take about a month. Until then, let's make some delicious dandelion syrup for lemonade. 
If you like the taste of honey, you will love the syrup too, because this is exactly how it tastes. This mild flavor of honey mixed with lemon is the perfect ingredient for a refreshing drink during hot summer days. P.S. There will be a whole episode dedicated to this beautiful plant, so if you are interested in that, please consider subscribing to not miss it. Rhubarb, a star of the spring, a truly special ingredient that I love to use for my rhubarb cake. I literally can't get enough of this delicious, a bit of sweet, a bit of sour cake. Easy to bake and just perfect for sharing during family and friends gatherings. On a thin piece of paper, would it make any would it change for the better If I wrote you a poem If I posted a letter Is it maybe because I never knew Suddenly you told me, baby, you're lost, but I am too. Whatever the cost, we'll make it through. Tell me you're the one, you're the one for me now, cause what am I supposed to do? If you are not the one, not the one for me, then. All the years that I've wasted Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go Out the window Smoke in my eyes 